This is your course syllabus. At the top is my contact information and office hours. The best way to contact me is through email. You can either email me through Canvas or you can email me directly. I don't have designated office hours, so you will need to make an appointment and all meetings will be online via Zoom or through the chat application on Canvas. But you will need to contact me ahead of time to set up a meeting. Student learning outcomes. Student learning outcomes are just a fancy way of saying objectives. It's what I want you to get out of this course. Upon successful completion of the course, students will be able to accurately recall knowledge of major events and figures in American history through reconstruction. I don't mean that this is a memorization class, but you will need to be able to identify major events and uh, historical figures in order to understand uh, the content of this course. Accurately interpret American history through the use of primary and secondary sources. Identify, use, and cite reliable primary and secondary sources in American history. So we will be discussing the difference between primary and secondary sources, and we'll be using them uh, quite a bit in your assignments, uh, including your essay and exam. Demonstrate college-level writing and assessing and interpreting American history. Recognize, understand, and analyze change over time or continuity of historical events or trends by pay paying attention to context and causation. What I mean by this is I want you to be able to connect the past to the present. I want you to be able to recognize uh, changes and trends and whether things uh, stay the same or they don't. As far as your course content, we will cover uh, the following topics or themes. Native American societies and cultures prior to European arrival. European colonization and its impact on Native America. Establishment and maturation of diverse colonial settlements and populations. Colonial policies and imperial rivalries in North America and their implication for settlements. The American Revolution. The formation of the United States government from the Articles of Confederation through the development of the Constitution. The early republic including political parties, economic and geographical expansion. Sectionalism, slavery, and antebellum America. Western expansion, manifest destiny, and Native American policy antebellum reform. Crisis of the 1850s and the coming of the Civil War. The Civil War and then we will end with Reconstruction. Your textbook in this course is free. You can view it online. You can download a PDF copy. You can order a print copy, or you can download it on iBooks. I do have the textbook already embedded into the Canvas course. The behavior in this course is no different than if you're in a uh, brick and mortar course. Personal behavior should be consistent with the smooth operation of the instructional program. Students are expected to be respectful of their classmates and instructor, including communication during assignments, discussion forums, emails, etc. I advocate for academic freedom, however, I do expect everyone to be respectful of others' cultures, backgrounds, and viewpoints. Plagiarism will not be tolerated in this class. Plagiarism or any form of cheating will be cause for a zero on an assignment. This applies to all assignments. Every assignment is to be done individually unless the instructor specifically states that it is a group project. In addition, the student will be reported uh, to student services for appropriate disciplinary and academic action. And here is a link to Palomar College's academic honesty policy. Assignments. You will need to review the Canvas site to obtain assignments. Each module includes course lectures, reading assignments, and other assignments such as a quiz, source analysis, or an activity. Two weeks of modules will be released at a time. 
So if you'd like to work ahead, you may do so. Modules will be released on Mondays. Assignments are generally due on Sundays unless otherwise designated. You may work at your own pace. However, assignments are due on the due dates. And I have provided a calendar summary uh, of those assignments and they will match what's in the modules. Assigned chapters from the textbook and other reading assignment items are located on the calendar summary, uh, summary and weekly modules. All other assignments will be located on the assignments, discussions, or quizzes pages. Your semester grades. There is a total of 515 points in this course. Your source analysis are worth 25 points each, and there are five of them. Your quizzes are worth 10 points each, and there are also five of them. Same goes for activities, five activities at 10 points each. You will have one exam, 50 points uh, total for the exam. The exam will consist of an, an essay question, but it will be an essay question that will uh, require you to look at primary and secondary sources. And of course, everything is submitted via Canvas. There will be an infographic uh, project worth 40 points, and there will be an essay uh, separate from your exam worth 100 points. You will also be required to cite sources in that as well. Uh, late, ace, late essays policy is that any student who has a compelling reason to turn in an essay late must receive advanced permission from the instructor to do so. They may obtain a, a, a permission by emailing the instructor at least 24 hours prior to the essay's due date with his or her request stating the reason he or she may hand in their paper in late or by talking to the instructor uh, personally, but since we're online, uh, it will be via email or through uh, a meeting of some sort. A compelling reason might include hospitalization of oneself or an immediate family member, an accident, death of a loved one, or something similar. In all cases, the reason for the late essay must be documented and approved after the event. Voluntary behaviors or activities, vacation, wedding, and long weekends are not compelling reasons for turning in an essay late. In cases like these, students should plan on turning in the work early. However, if a student submits an essay late without prior permission, which is what I just stated above, the essay will receive a 15-point deduction per day for two days after the essay is due. Essays will not be accepted after the two days. And note, a day equals 24 hours. So if an essay is due on a Monday night, or I'm sorry, a Sunday night at 11.59 p.m., one day would be a Monday night at 11.59 p.m. That's 24 hours. There will be a final digital project worth 100 points. So you'll not have a final exam, you will have a final digital project instead. As I said, it's worth 100 points, one media project at 80 points, and a reflection essay worth 20 points. And there will be some extra credit available um, at my discretion, and that will be assigned to all students. I don't give individual extra credit. If I assign extra credit, everybody will have the opportunity to do that extra credit. And also please understand uh, that I could change this syllabus. I generally don't, but sometimes circumstances warrant that, especially that we're living through a pandemic. We have no idea what our circumstances are going to be. So uh, I try to stick to the syllabus. Uh, I will never move a date of a, an assignment up. If I move the date of an assignment, it will be later. Your final grade in this course is calculated by dividing the total points you receive by the total points available in the course. Once you divide those points, you will get a percentage which will correlate to a letter grade. And finally, accommodations. Any student who needs accommodations needs to notify me right away, as well as you need to notify the Disability Resource Center, or the DRC, and I've provided that information here. All right, so that's your review of the syllabus. If you have any questions, please let me know.